Welcome to Felsbrunn on Farming Simulator 19 for episode 1 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It truly is a crazy world that we live in. I've just been directed from the town up this way. I've inherited a farm. Up until now, I was a school teacher. Now, I'm a new farmer. I don't know anything about farming. And apparently, this is my farm. I now have an accountant, which I didn't have before because I never needed one. My accountant has asked me all sorts of questions. Lots of questions I can't really answer. It's going to be an interesting learning curve to find out all of these things. Now a friend of mine, who's been doing this a very long time, we drink in the local tavern and he's just taken on a role as a farm manager, not far from here. To start up his new farm he was given €1,250,000 to start up his farm. That to me seems like a huge amount of money. So my accountant has asked me, I've got to do an audit. I need to audit the farm. I've got to work out what I own, what it's worth. He's asked me what I'm likely to be making. What's my turnover going to be? I have no idea. The first thing I can do, I can do an audit of the farm. The question I did ask in the tavern of my friend was, if you're starting out as a farm manager with 1,250,000, could you set up a farm like the one I've just inherited? Is it possible to do this? with 1,250,000. So, I set to work. I did some accountancy. I did some auditing. I've been working out facts and figures. And here's how this all breaks down. And it's really, really interesting. If I was to sell everything now, if I decided I don't want to be a new farmer, I don't want to run a farm, I want to sell it all off. Lock, stock and barrel, everything gone. To sell it off, I'm not going to make as much money, obviously. I think, as far as I'm aware, I've been told, if I sell it directly, auction from here, I'll get a price. If I take it to the local store, which I believe is down the road, I might get a slightly higher price. This is all based upon kind of an auction price. So if I sold everything, a lot of these buildings, I would only get probably half their value. For some of the vehicles, they'll take a bit of a hit. Not horrendously, but they'll take a bit of a hit. I think, for example, that Fiat is worth about 59000 If I sell that, I'll get, I think, 44000 to 250 If I sell my harvester, which apparently is somewhere around, here it is, I'll get 75000 for that. To buy one brand new would cost me 100000 so I would lose 25000 on that. So that's a bit scary. If I sold up everything, all of it, and that includes the plot of land that I'm standing on, it also includes the plot of land next to me, which I start with. I start with this field here, field 20, and I start with... Oh, I keep saying field plots. Plot 20 and plot 19 is what I've inherited. If I sell all of it, the buildings, the whole lot, I will make one million and sixty six thousand one hundred and eighty nine euros if I sell everything. Now that doesn't include anything that's in the silo. I suppose if I sold whatever was in the silo as well there might be a little bit more on top of that. But yeah, roughly one million sixty six thousand one hundred and eighty nine euros. That's mad. That's a big amount of money. That's cool. I could sell it all and just go on holiday. That might be a bit easier, mightn't it? Be a short let's play if I do, to be fair. Um, but I suppose I could do some vlogs of where I am on holiday, can I? Anyway, now, here's the thing. So my friend, if he's got his 1,250,000 and he came here and this was completely clear, it was blank, there was nothing here at all, and he wanted to set this farm up exactly how it's set up. If he went into the store to buy all of these things brand new, he had a brand new house built, farmhouse, he had a brand new barn built, brand new shelter, brand new silo, 
bought the plots of land. I've also got 100,000 in the bank, which is pretty good at the moment. It would cost him... And this is where this works out quite a good deal, being a new farmer. It would cost him 1,488,864 euros. 1,488,000. So even with his 1,250,000 that he's been given to start up his new farm, he couldn't set up what I've got already. That makes the new farmer a pretty good deal, if you ask me. I like it. So this is where I'm going to be starting off. On this, my second Let's Play, um, my first one is on Start From Scratch, and it's a hard grind, and I'm getting through on Ravenport, and we're starting to make progress. This one on Fellsburn, I'm doing a new farmer one. I'm interested to see the difference in prices, interested to see how much difference there is in, in yields and or anything like that really, anything that stands out. But there are a few things I want to do first. Before I do anything else, there are a couple of things I'm going to do. I am going to make some adjustments to this farm. I'm going to have the barn demolished. I'm not really going to use it. I've got the farmhouse. I've got a little garage to the side of it. I've got the shelter. I'm really probably not going to use it. So I'm going to have that demolished and knocked down. I'm keeping my two plots of land. Field 20 has got to be ploughed, I think, and prepped for another crop. Field 19 is ready to harvest. I have got my field info on, and that's saying no weeds, ready to harvest. As far as, actually, that's a good point. Uh, what are we looking at? Field 19, growth, what about soil composition? Oh, hasn't got anything. No fertilising states on at all. So it's not going to be a fantastic yield, but we'll get something. I'll add that to what's in the silo, and we'll go from there. So, the barn will go, and what I'm also going to do, I'm going to pl plant, I'm not going to plant anything. I'm going to place a sheep pen. I'm going to be a sheep farmer. I'm going to do crops as well, but I think I'm going to have a go at sheep, you know. And why not? And I don't know if I can fit it on this plot. We'll give it a go. Um, so it's going to be slightly different, I have to say, than my other Let's Play, because we're starting off with a few things already. So it's going to be quite cool. So bear with me one second, and let's see uh, how this all pans out. So the barn has gone. I'm up to 150,000. I only got 50,000 for selling it. But it costs 100,000 to buy one, but obviously when you sell it, you only get half back. So I've got 150,000 to play with. I'm going to get the small sheep pasture to start myself off. That will take 80 sheep. It's 10 slots to place. It's 65,000, so this is going to be the usual. Um, let, let's see how this pans out, shall we? Oh, hang on. We've got, we've got a glimmer. A glimmer of hope. Uh, what's... Please tell me. Did I place that? Oh, no. Sold buildings. Um, oh, hang on. Hang on. Just to be on the safe side, otherwise my accountant will kill me. Help window on. Let's do that again. Animal pens. Uh, we'll go for sheep pasture. 66455, 66... 056... 66 oh that's only 1050 extra so you know what done i'm happy with that that's only 1000 more than it was going to cost anyway so barn's gone we have a bit of space but we do also have a sheep pasture now until i've got sheep in there i'm not going to know what exactly i need i'm assuming water I'm going to have to keep the feed area clean. The feed area will be around here, and the water trough will be here. So I need to get something for water. But what I'm also... Where do the wall pallets spawn? Here, I would imagine. And this is where I will buy... Yep, open animal dialogue box. I'm not going to buy anything yet because I've got nothing. No water or grass. I assume it's going to be grass and hay. They don't need bedding, so it's a fairly low impact, low maintenance start actually to get ourselves into animals straight away. Um, what I am going to do as well, I'm going to sell one of the fence. I don't need three tractors. 
Uh, I've got two fences that are exactly the same. One over there with the cultivator on it, and then one here. They're both 115 horsepower, and then I've also got the uh, the Fiat, and I wanted the Fiat on the Mother Let's Play. That's 150 horsepower, so that's not to be sniffed at. Um, so I'm going to get rid of one of these. Um, I am going to take it to the store. I think it's offering me 57,000 if I sell it. Um, let's just move that way. Right. If I just sell it anyway. I don't know if it's like Farming Simulator 17 where if you take it to the store you get a higher price. I haven't really sold anything on um, Mother Let's Play. So we're about to find out. What will I make on this? Okay, just a few minor adjustments to make. It does sound rather cool. So the store is this way. Okay, what will they give it? Give, give me for it. Give it for me. No, give me for it. Here. That's not bad. Fifty-seven thousand if I did it online. Sixty-eight if I sell it here. It's only seventy-six to buy. That's not a huge loss actually. Does it need repairing? Shouldn't do. Nope. So, we'll sell it. Okay, that has. That's covered the cost of the sheep pen. Oh, okay. It's amazing how different the starts can be in the game, and I think that's the brilliant thing about this, because I, I have done all of my Let's Plays pre prior to this on Farming Simulator 17 on normal. I've never done hard mode, and I very rarely play on, on kind of easy mode. Now we've got the uh, new farmer, farm manager and start from scratch. I went straight in with the start from scratch, let's go hardcore, I've never done it before and and it's, yeah, it's, it's a challenge. This is surprisingly the pressure's already off. This is episode one and I don't feel like I'm in that struggling position already which is a, is a massive massive difference. Um, what I'm gonna need though, I'm gonna need a water container so let's get to the store and uh, let's get one. It'll be the Aquatrans because that's the only thing that's really available at the moment. Um, I could if I wanted to, not that I'm going to, but I could. Um, the milk one will take water as well. I've done that on um, uh, on Ravenport, but to be fair, Wombleway made a very good point, <laughs> and I've got it for water because I thought well, that'll do water and milk, which is brilliant. I'm doing cows. Problem with that is, if I've got it full of water, and my cows don't need any more water, there's no way of unloading it to then put milk in it. I can only do that if I can empty it out some way. So yeah, maybe I'm going to need to get an. Uh... Yeah, I think I have to get the Juskin. I'm going to have to get that now anyway, but um, on the other one. So, uh, details, nothing much, just that. Now I've got to remember, I keep pressing the wrong button. I need to press X to buy. I keep pressing square and leasing stuff by mistake. Um, and that would be an error. Um, so what I need to do now is a tractor to bring this over. I think what I'm also going to do, I'm going to get this harvest underway. 
uh, and also maybe get some plough underway. I have been quite aware, and I don't know whether we're on farm manager that that would be different. It could well be because I was going to start from scratch on Ravenport, but um, the worker fees rack up quite quickly. It's a steep incline. I never ever really noticed it or bothered about it on Farming Simulator 17. I would always just kind of, yeah, hire a worker, doesn't matter. Um, and I could always kind of cover it by doing a, a contract or something like that. I found that on Start From Scratch it's quite steep. So, um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. It's, uh, it's all different. Now this this has been referred to who was it? I can't remember who it was. Oh no, that's annoying. Somebody said it's just a really expensive time machine. And it is, let's be honest, 350 grand and you can skip through the night. Because it doesn't I mean I suppose it serves the other purpose that you can go into it and you know, if you're let's playing and role playing, you've got your house and whatnot. But if you don't do let's plays and you don't do role playing yeah, it's just giving you the ability to skip through the night. So I suppose if you're quite happy to leave it on times 120 and just go through the night that way, like we always did on Farming Simulator 17, I suppose, yeah, it is you know, an expensive time machine. Oh, you know. I'm going to need grass or hay. So I've got some knocking around here, I can see. I'm going to need a mower and some way of collecting it. But what I will do... <laughs> it would be good if I actually hooked up to it, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh dear me. Right. Now I've got... I think it came as standard. I haven't actually changed anything. Why is that... Oh, could, could be because there's a weight in front of it that I'm now pushing along. Um, yeah, periodic ploughing's turned off. And I think farm manager... Uh, a new farmer comes automatically with that. Plant withering's off as well. I don't normally play with plant withering, but I do have crop destruction on. I am incredibly interested now to see how different the two are going to be. How quickly I can get going and make ends meet on this one. Why is that? Um, it's probably common knowledge by now, and I will mention it um, because it's pretty much out there. I think Giants, it's on the forum and whatnot. Um, that if you are struggling with your, I, might, I can't remember if I've mentioned this on my other Let's Play or not. Um, if you're struggling and you're finding repair costs are getting you down, that it's a bit hard. And I don't know again whether this is going to get changed in the patch. I really don't know. Your repair, your damage on your vehicles is linked. It's linked to your dirt. Um, so, if I go into the menu, and we go across to this one, if I scroll down now to where it says dirt, I always, always, always have mine on slow. Now, a lot of people will just automatically have it on normal, and um, I don't know, I've always had it on slow, and a lot of people saying, oh, the repair costs are killing me. I, every time I go in, it's costing me a fortune. Um, I hadn't really noticed it on Ravenport. I thought it was okay, actually. Um, but here's the thing. If you turn dirt off, you don't incur any repair costs anymore. You won't have to repair your vehicle. Um, because, obviously, that repair cost is linked to, as the vehicle gets dirty and it shows that wear and that kind of thing. I, I, I guess in the coding of it and making it all work, they've linked the two together. Um so yeah if you turn your dirt off no repair costs anymore I generally have mine on slow anyway I've got no problem doing repair costs because now we haven't got that overnight fee that we always used to get I just think it's part and parcel of the game you're going to need to do repairs in your vehicles um, if you're finding your repair costs are very high and they're, in, they're occurring very very quickly it might be because you've got your dirt on normal you might want to put it on slow and see if that adjusts it see what happens it's got to be worth a try hasn't it I'm trying to avoid where I can driving too much on the grass because I want as much of it as I can for feed. 
and I might as well use grass. I mean, I could make hay, but it, it, if, it, if I can do grass, I'll do grass. It's going to be a lot easier to do. I was told as well that if it will let me do it now. That the areas once you've placed your placeable around the side of the placeable are plowable, but I think the grass will grow anywhere on that. On I think because it's placed, it's in the on the lowest point. I think it will grow. Okay, again, I'm not too sure. This is all kind of uh, it's all very new. Okay, right up to the edge if I can. There we go. That's a bit better. Okay, well what I'm going to do then, let's hire a worker and let's see if it does make much of a difference or it's still going to tick down really, really quickly. <laughs> mm. We'll see how we go with that. If it does seem to be incurring quite high fees then uh, we'll make some changes right i'm gonna go and grab the fit the harvest of that field i might do in a little while i'm gonna go and grab some water i might even have to look at getting a mower downside with this the fit it doesn't have a front three point link so i may need mm, let me think if i get a rear mower can i put narrows on this don't know let's see if we can go and configure it shall we oh that sounds brilliant What we like from inside. Oh yeah. It's very quiet. For an old tractor. And I'm indicating. I don't do that for hang on, have I turned the traffic off by mistake? There's so many times when I'm playing this I swap vehicles when I'm trying to turn the indicators on and off. I used to do that quite a lot. I'm sure I still will. Not the fastest tractor out there. But it does slow down the pace of life a little bit, doesn't it? It kind of forces you to take it easy. Plus it just looks brilliant and sounds brilliant. Put nails on this, let's see. It's gonna cost me money, I would imagine. As if I even can. Uh customize. Standard wide rear twins narrows. Yes. Okay, that's good, which means I can get a rear mower. One thousand, a thousand euros. It's outrageous. Actually, didn't seem too bad. Um, right, okay. Let's go and grab that. Oh, I was going to take the water back, wasn't I? Oh, doesn't matter. One thing at a time. Let's check out the mower situation, which is there. Um, we could go with the disc bind for seventeen thousand, or we could go for the Coon GMD four 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 one one. Um, I'm thinking. And we're going to buy it. I'm very free and easy with the money at the moment. Now, to be fair, because I'm doing sheep, I don't actually need any of the crops I've got in storage. Which does mean what I can do, probably not in this episode, I'm not going to have enough time in this episode, but... What I can do is um, get one of my tractors, get my trailer, and take all of my crops to sell, where there are good prices of course, and um, make a bit more money. That will give me the money I need to buy my sheep. The brilliant thing is as well, because the prices are way lower on FS19 for buying your animals. 
I can get more sheep, more bar for my buck. Don't know why I did that, but it just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. I'm regretting it already. This is a very long, protruding piece of equipment, but... Hang on, didn't check, did I? Yeah, traffic's on. So, is it because I'm on New Farmer there's just less traffic? They're just trying to make it easy for me. As a New Farmer, we don't want to scare you with lots of traffic on the road. Inundate you with fast-moving lorries and cement trucks. We'll just ease you in. Gently, gradually. Now I'm assuming I can cut pretty much whatever I want, can I? We're soon going to find out, aren't we? I suppose you look at it and think, that's a big old mower, but actually it's a fairly small tractor. Uh, right, let's turn it on. Are we spinning? We are. And we are cutting. Awesome. Probably need to get some form of windrowery type piece. Yeah, it's not cutting that. So yeah, maybe potentially that might need ploughing, reseeding with grass maybe, or it won't let me actually utilise it. It's all right. I've got all of this. I've got plenty of grass to cut actually, haven't I? Sorry old chap, just need to move out of the way. Fantastic. I've got to stop saying that. But it is fantastic. It. Let me cut up the slope. Not really. Okay. Cut the hedges down. Cut everything. Back up a little bit. You can see now why I put narrows on it. Um, because otherwise I'd be damaging everything that I'm driving over at the moment. And that's all stuff I need to cut. Farm dog agrees. I brought him with me. Seemed like the sensible thing to do. I'm not sure how far or how wide the plot goes, but... We'll do the best we can. I'm still blown away this little fit. It's got 150 horsepower. That's brilliant. So I'm assuming our plot goes right the way down to the road. The best way to check... Let me just turn the mower off a second. If I go into my menu here... Go down to our plot land... Oh yeah, right the way out to the road so I can cut anything there. It goes to the road there. I think I'm right on the limit here of what's ours. I can do all of this.
drive through the bushes a little bit. Okay. Seem to have done a lot of mowing recently, but if I want sheep, I'm going to need the grass. We could do with watching out for these markers, but so far, yeah, haven't pulled any out the ground. That's good. Mm, a bit too steep there, I think. Well, it's going well so far. I'll see you in a little while. When I've got a load of this cut, or nearly all of this cut, we'll sort out what we're going to do about collecting. Cultivating's going rather well over there. Um, we'll have to then think about what we're going to do about putting something in that field. I'll look at the prices, we'll see what's selling well, what gets a good price, and we'll stick whatever that is in the ground. I'm thinking soybean, sunflower, something along those lines, but we'll see. Well, all the grass is cut around the farm. I'm not going to do anything with that just for the moment because I think um, the harvest will come in a little while. That'll probably be the next episode. What I am going to do is sell this trailer. If you know me, you know my channel. I don't like these swivel axle trailers. So, back to the store. I'm going to replace it for a, a Stroutman SEK802 fixed front. Uh, fixed front rear axle. Oops, I just went the wrong side of the the, uh, the island there. Never mind. And then I'm going to set to on getting rid of selling whatever crops we've got in storage, so I can maximise the amount of cash I've got in the bank account. Thus, keeping my accountant happy, keeping us uh, in positive money. I do like the sound of that. So that one will sell for seven six four one, and then we go into our store menu to trailers, and we get to the SEK O two. I am going to get that though in the twelve thousand litre capacity, which is going to cost us twelve grand, but better that I think. Then we'll go cover no. Can we not change? Why is that not changing there? There you go. Trellerborgs or Michelins or Lizard? Trellerborg. Leave it on Trellerborgs, I think. And we'll buy that. Okay. Now I realise in the interest of realism, etc., um, having a cover on it, if we're taking grains and things that could blow away fairly easily we're better off having a cover, but for the time being I'm okay and the good thing with this is it's got a rear hitch so I should be able to one, reverse it back because it's a fixed a fixed front and I should be able to hook up to the liquid one I missed that completely there we go, taking both back at the same time Haha. -ha. Quick thinking, whoa, see what I mean? Cement truck, do not want to pull out in front of that. What I can also do, I think, is I'll just nip down here. Hopefully the fence can have the oomph to pull this back out again. But if 
I can get this down to this little beachy area, just ever so slightly, and then rip it back round again. Hopefully, rear trailer is filling up. Fantastic. So today has been a busy day as far as videos have gone. I did a kind of guide to assistance video on the War Z bale shredders and Big Buds have gone live. Bizarre. Um, everyone has been waiting. Not everyone. Anyone who's wanted the Big Buds has been waiting and Giant said they would be coming and they have come and boy are they good. The detailing on them is phenomenal. The sounds on them are phenomenal. They look great. They're brilliant. So I did a quick kind of not a guide to really because there's not a lot to say just a, a kind of vehicle review I guess a quick look at it that's got up to what I do like about this shelter is um, with those big overhangs you can actually park stuff under the overhangs as well which is what I did with the mower so what I'm going to do just for the time being is if I can get that just right We'll disconnect the uh, Aquatrans. We'll now head round to the side here. Um, according to Giants Day on the forum as well, um, PC guys are over the moon. I'm not sure how it's going to pan out for consoles, but their landscaping mod is kind of all systems go. In, es in essence, what you're looking at is a kind of Giants editor pack where you can go in and basically do anything it looks incredible um right nine thousand liters of wheat actually what I should have done first let's see what the prices are before i go just willy-nilly selling things over the place um so one one seven seven for oats what have we got wheat whoa grain mill one one nine three Oh, even better than that. Down the bottom. Train station mill. 1228. Prices are already better. Way, way better. So, okay. Wheat. Now, there have been a lot of issues. People telling me that they've been trying to sell stuff that's showing in their grain silo or in their silo and then trying to sell things that are showing in their silo other and they've still got a certain amount in there but can't access it or find it anywhere. Um, so yeah, I don't know about that, it's a bit of a weird one. Uh, right, so... I need the train station mill, which is... Uh, how do I get it from here? I'll drive uh, right out of the main... Sorry, right, so right, then left, out past animal dealer. Okay. Um, so yeah, straight off the bat, I mean... I think on start from scratch mode, the the grain I was selling recently, and I've got corn to sell, the highest the corn's gone is 400 and something. Um, the actual wheat I had to sell, I think the highest it went was about 500. So having the it's selling at 1,200 on here, that's incredible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell this first, and then I'm going to go through the motions of pretty much getting rid of it let's put the beacon on then we'll indicate it's actually working oh, that's a bit of a tight turn um, and then off screen I'll sell everything else then hopefully next episode we'll be on to sorting out our sheep uh, I'll get the grass collected wind road however I'm going to do that I think I might just go for a standard wind rower I used the rake version on my Ravenport video so I might just go for a standard one. And again, we're, we're in those early days of, you know, when you left FS17, um, with so many mods to choose from, and you could go in and you could pick and choose, and there were high price stuff and low price stuff and all, you know, everywhere in between. At the moment, we're kind of still in that, well, th this is what there is. You go, you use what there is there, because that's what there is there. Um, so it's going to be great. As, as we go through the weeks and the months, seeing new stuff appearing in the... Uh, yeah, can't wait. Cannot wait. And when I said at the start, I'm a new farmer, I mean, that basically was just introducing the fact I'm on new farmer mode. 
Um, because I'm sure people say, you're not a new farmer, you do know what you're doing. I do, of course I do, but, you know, part of the kind of storyline type thing. It's going to be a fairly tight turn. When I say fairly, a really tight turn. Excellent. Right, so we'll go up to here. Come on, Fent, you've got the power, you can do this. And then we'll swing round and we'll get this sold and everything should be good. See how much we make on it. Should do alright, actually. Should do alright. I think we're at the right place, aren't we? Let's go. Not bad so far, not bad at all. And still going. Eleven thousand three hundred and seventy eight. Wow, that's brilliant. Okay, well can I get out of the far end? Not sure. I'm sure I'll find a way out. That is brilliant. So I'm gonna work my way through the crops, get rid of everything I don't need and i will see you on the next one um i hope you've enjoyed this uh, first foray into new farmer mode and we'll see how this one pans out alongside the start from scratch one on ravenport if you have enjoyed this episode give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching